Well, it's time again for another ablative use. Yeah, I kept saying there's a lot of these. And our next ablative use is ablative of place from which. Now, if you think about it, there's really only three relationships that you can have with a place. You can be in that place, you can be moving away from that place, or you can be moving toward that place. And that's it. So if you're in that place, we've already talked about that. That's ablative of place where. If you're moving toward that place, that's accusative of place to which. Now we want to talk about the third space relationship that we have, and that's moving away from something. Ablative of place from which. And there's three ways this works in Latin. We have three different prepositions we can use. We can use the preposition a or ab, which means away from. We can use e or x, which means out from. And we can use de, which means down from. And what you notice is that they all can basically be translated just from. But very specifically, ab is away from, x is out from, and de is down from. And an easy way to remember that, a, ab, they both have an a, and away begins with an a. X, you want to think about exit, that's going out from something. And de begins with a D, and that is down from. Okay? So let's put all that together, see if we can come up with a sentence that brings all that together and shows you what we mean. All right, so maybe we have something like this. We have Agricola. De equo cadit. Comma, e silva ambulat, comma, et ab insula navigat. All right, let's see what our ablatives are here. Well, Equo is ablative because it's O, it's second declension. We've got the de here. So we can say ablative uh, of place from which, PFW. We've got another one, silwa has the long A, that's obviously ablative singular from first declension. We've got the E in front, so there's another ablative of place from which. And then finally we've got insula, there's that long A ablative again, ablative singular. We've got ab in front of it, and so now we've got another ablative a place from which. So let's see what's going on in this little story. We've got a farmer. He apparently he has a little accident because the farmer falls. Now, there's really only one direction you can fall, assuming gravity is working as it should. The farmer falls down from the horse. Apparently he's had enough of that. He walks out from, or you could say out of, out from the forest, and he sails away from the island. So when it comes to moving from something, there are three relationships. You could be moving down from it, out from it, or away from it. There's one other thing to notice. With a and ab, you've got two forms of the preposition. Same thing with a and x. The only difference is that you use a or e in front of words that begin with a consonant. And you use ab and x in front of words that begin with a vowel. Notice I used e before silva because silva begins with the consonant s. And I used ab in front of insula because insula begins with the vowel i. It's just like a and an in English, right? I bought a book, but I bought an apple. And that's what's going on with ablative, a place from which.